A venti americano, please. I'll have a grande white chocolate mocha. Sure, these things are easy to say now, but when Starbucks first started sprouting expensive coffee everywhere, it was complicated. Small mocha, I mean tall. Wait, what size is a tall? The confusion caused long lines, but we got the hang of it. Perhaps that's what Starbucks founder Charles Schultz wanted. Thrillist reported that after a 1983 trip to Italy, Schultz opened a tiny cafe called Il Giornale a year before he bought Starbucks. He wanted to create a concept store that was quote exotic, and small, medium, large just doesn't cut it. Short was used for small, but according to Thrillist, when Venti was added in the 90s, Starbucks ditched the short and tall became the new small size. The names are now so synonymous with sizes that we regularly order in tall, grande, and venti, which creates a really awkward moment with the guy at Dunkin' Donuts who's thinking Starbucks is across the street. I'm Angelique Cockaday for Buzz 60. Now you know, pass it on.